everybody, back out fully in here. Now today we are showcasing some of the ridiculously huge Tetris sets which I've been working on over this last couple of weeks. If you saw the video I did last weekend of producing some of the Tetris pieces, uh, you guys will know that I've been basically making nothing but Tetris pieces for this last couple of weeks it seems. And uh, the ones we made last week are already up to Edinburgh and they're being hallmarked as we speak. But what I have here are two batches which I sent up which have now returned and we have them pretty much ready. All I need to do is stamp the weight on them, give them a quick clean and polish and then they are ready to go. But I thought I'd showcase for you guys a really cool feature of this giant board that we have here. This is a 50 piece Tetris set with an original playing area of 10 by 20 pips and it makes for great fun, let me tell you. Before we get to that though, just uh, showcasing this one. This is the first of this kind of size that we've made. It's a 36 piece set. Uh, all we're waiting for is the uh, label at the bottom. I rather foolishly ordered a 32 piece set label. Just had it in my mind. It was at the same time as organizing the group orders and I just didn't think and so uh, yeah that's a lesson to be learned. Always concentrate when you're placing orders for things. So uh, yeah. This is a 36 piece set, 12 by 12 pips, really, really fun. If you guys are interested in picking up Tetra sets, by the way, uh, then there's a link down in the description below to my website where I've created an all-in-one listing to showcase all of the different types of sets that we have available, as well as the uh, individual pieces. So if you wanted to pick up just an individual piece or two or three or four, or however many you wanted, then you can do so. Uh, instead, because I appreciate that these sets are quite big. We even have what I call the, the monthly Tetris Club for uh, various members of the Silver Forum. Now check this out, this is very cool. Look at that, it plays Tetris on its own and I'm incredibly happy. This was a complete happenstance. We were uh, organizing this set to see how it would put together because you know there's so many different permutations that the various Tetris sets can come together with. And Mrs. Backyard Bullion and I were having a good old play with it. By the way, you'll have to excuse if you can hear it, that sort of drilling, uh, soaring sound in the background. The next door neighbors are having some work done and uh, it's been going like this all day and I've just I've just not got time to wait for them to stop. So um, yeah, Mrs. Backyard Bullion and I were enjoying this Tetris set whilst we had uh, the chance to do so because you know we, we make these and we absolutely love making them. They're really, really fun to put together but uh, we have to send them out to the customers. I mean, that's the, the one thing that we hate about doing this kind of business. A lot of the time when we make really cool things, we have to send them out to the customers. So it's a really, it's a sad day when big things like this leave the house, but it's nice to know that we can, you know, create these and we can create more of them if we need to. Now, I am cheating a little bit in this game in that I am working off our completed image because I know that the configuration that I'm putting these pieces together in will uh, end up completing this entire playing board. I have to say, it is one of the funnest brain teasers to get these pieces together and actually try and work out how they all fit in the different frames. The smaller sets, it's a little bit easier to do that. However, with the really big sets, you get so far you get to like last two or three pieces and it's like looking really good and then you think oh hang on i've got a problem coming here and it's really difficult to actually get that final configuration so sometimes it can take quite a while to put together and especially when you're doing it on camera you don't want to have to faff around with that so yeah as you can see they play really well in this kind of angled frame and we haven't made the frame specifically angled as you can see I'm just balancing it up against the box it's something that I've considered actually for uh, other types of uh, products and one of the cool things that we are looking at doing is if you remember the uh, the number sorry not yeah the number playing boards that we've got the um, the sort of uh, sliding square puzzle boards, that's the word I was looking for. We are thinking about doing those, but with letters such that you would be able to spell out somebody's name. So it'd be like a nice keepsake with a name. And we were thinking about having an angled board so that the, uh, you know, so basically the, uh, the letters can be displayed showing kind of at an angle. So it's a bit more of a display piece. Uh, and I was just curious what you guys thought about that. So if you are potentially, if you think that's a good idea, if you think it's interesting, we are working on a prototype, so I would imagine within the next couple of uh, weeks we'll be able to showcase uh, what that might look like and how, how they might look and feel. 
and uh, we can go from there. But I think it's a, I think it's a cool idea. We're going to make the prototypes with our dogs' names. Uh, we absolutely love our little doggies, and uh, what better thing to do than to put their names in silver? Now then, where's that piece? There it is. Running out of different types of pieces now to put in specific places. So. We are getting close to the top, running out of room to slide them down, so I might just speed this process up a little bit. Um, here we go, that one goes in there, and then that in there. It's really very cathartic to play with, and I know they're expensive, and you know there's a lot of work that goes into creating each and every one of these Tetris pieces, and it's something that I really enjoy to do, but Boy, oh boy, are they intricate! And for I know it looked like I made loads in one go last week, and they all came out really well. But uh, it really doesn't always go that way. It takes quite a lot of time sometimes to get all of these type of pieces created. So uh, it's really nice to see them come together when they do. So if you're interested in a Tetris set, then make sure you head on over to my website. You can see all of the information in that all-in-one link uh, with all of the details about the pricing and everything. If there's something that floats your boat, then make sure that you let me know. You can either drop me uh, an email or you can order directly on my website. However, I can offer discounts if you were to look to come and order directly. I can now accept payments with US dollars and euros and uh, via sort of wire transfers. So we'll get a lot better exchange rates than uh, horrible, horrible PayPal. And PayPal is a little bugbear of mine at the moment. I really am not enjoying PayPal. I take PayPal for a fair amount of payments for things, but they are being sneaky little buggers and uh, defaulting on uh, to goods and services for so many things. And it really takes up a lot of time and energy to, to set things right. So yeah. There we go, big old set. Now, we have loads of other fun things in mind for 2019 in terms of hand poured silver. One of which some of you may have already seen on my website and thank you to all of you out there who have been pre-ordering these already, which are the 100 gram Backyard Bullion Bars. I will be showcasing these a little bit more as time goes on over the next couple of weeks, but this is the prototype bar uh, that we have made. All of the information you need to know about those is up on my website. You can go check those out and pre-order those now, uh, but those will be available probably in about well, the first batch anyway will probably be available at the end of March, but we're taking pre-orders now. So if you want to have uh, one of these lovely backyard bullion bars in your possession, then do let me know. In addition to that, first bit of news about the Silver Forum branded bars. So we are doing those again. As you can expect in uh, in the backyard bullion household in this last two weeks, or sorry, two months or so, January and February, we've been chock-a-block with... Uh, with basically group orders, so we haven't had the time, and these Tetris pieces of course, we haven't had the time to sit down and fully plan our year for the, back, uh, for the Silver Forum products. But we are getting around to them, and we are looking like the one ounce Silver Forum bars will be around April. So beginning to mid to late April, depending on how production goes over this next coming weeks. So but basically, I've now finished all of these giant Tetris pieces. I've got a whole bunch in stock, so if you're interested in them, then you can get them. Uh, but now the next thing for me to pour is going to be one ounce Silver Forum bars. So those will be coming very soon, and we'll share some more information about those over on the Silver Forum in due course. In addition to that, we've got some exciting new things coming with collaborations with Dad, Planet Earths. All I'll say is we're doing Mark II Planet Earths in 2019 and we're pushing the boat out. Uh, we are going to be doing something very special, very special indeed. So I'll be dropping some little uh, Easter eggs along the way, but that'll probably be in the summer. Otherwise, it's business as usual. We're just carrying on with making content for you guys, making hand poured silver as and where needed and, uh, and generally just doing group orders. Of course, Brexit is a big thing at the moment. We don't know whether Brexit is going to be conducive to continuing the group orders. We will endeavour to try that. Uh, one thing that I will uh, say is that the European Mint and I are talking together about putting uh, some new shipping prices and policies in place. Um, which is really exciting and a massive thank you to the European Mint for including me in that process uh, of, cons uh, what's the word, um, of, I can't think of the word now, he's, uh, he's corresponding with me to work out what is best from a customer's perspective, so including me in that process, so a huge thank you to them. So if you guys have any thoughts on like shipping from various bullion dealers around the world, then do let me know over on the Silver Forum, go and check out everything that we do there. 
Last thing to say, and this is the last kind of little Easter egg for those of you who watched the end of my videos, uh, the Blair bullion bars that we made at the back end of last year, those little owl bars uh, that we made, and they sold out within like 12 hours at Blair bullion, which is really incredible. We have made more of those, and those will be showcased very soon, probably within the next couple of weeks. We don't know exactly. They're up in Edinburgh being hallmarked as we speak, uh, but there's new designs and there's new pieces. So watch this space because we are creating more with them, and hopefully as uh, they get sold we'll be making more in the future as well with different designs for Blair so that's a really exciting uh, thing for us as well. Anyway I hope you enjoyed the Tetris sets me playing real Tetris with silver that was very satisfying and I'm very very sad to see this Tetris set go but it will be winging its way to its new owner within the next 24 hours or so and I'll uh, obviously communicate out that shipping to you because I know you'll be watching this video I know how you enjoy seeing this on we did this with another product that you uh, ordered as well and I know you enjoyed watching that. Guys that is all I have to say today. Thank you one and all for watching. I hope you all have a very enjoyable weekend or have had an enjoyable weekend and have an enjoyable week ahead. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.